complete their new headquarters. Yeah, they're the anti-violence group with big plans for a large part in East Baltimore. And tonight they shared those plans with ABC 2 News' Dakari Turner. What'd you learn? Uh, Jamie Kelly, if it's been a while since you've seen this group, you're not wrong. But they say they have been busy. Their work, building their message in the city where it's desperately needed. It's Friday night in Baltimore, punctuated by an especially gruesome week. And as they do often, members of the 300 Men March are marking the streets in the name of anti-violence. We do it, you know, in the places that need it most, in the places where we are seeing the most homicides. Tonight is their first time out from the new headquarters located on the city's east side. Construction here is ongoing. It began in April and has taken much of Leader Munir Bihar's time, so tonight, is also the group's first time marking in months. We are in a state of crisis and we have to stop killing each other. It punctuates months of hard work after buying a set of vacant row homes to renovate. Here, as he has for years, Bahar will continue to lead Core Health, a program that teaches life and fitness skills to youth while molding them into men. So right here will be the classroom and upstairs here will be the martial arts studio. To sit in a state-of-the-art classroom, I think that really enhances a child's ability to learn. I'm just waiting to see what they're going to bring to the neighborhood. Bruce Durant says he did much of the same work years ago, walking this neighborhood with police and members of his church. He calls Bahar's group a welcome addition. Really, there's no what to say real men in the neighborhood. And so tonight, they walk, declaring the killing must stop, even as in Baltimore, the numbers of killings will also rise. Regardless of what incidents are happening, this message has to be consistent. Now, Bahar says just today he closed on a couple of new row homes down the street from their new headquarters there. He's planning on turning that into a home for young men to turn to when they have no place else to live. And now, from